Hey, love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for allowing yourself to be able to see the signs and the synchronicities that are coming along your way, to be able to help guide you towards the next steps towards your amazing journey. And knowing if you're in dark times, uh, better days are coming. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or uh, gives you some really loving vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now need validation or confirmation towards their life path or their soul purpose or even their divine purpose, um, go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able resonate with the content of my video. This beautiful meditation I'm listening to today uh, is called Indian Flute Meditation Music, music for meditation, yoga, relaxing, healing, and positive energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is uh, about uh, remember that your blessings are bigger than your problems. Lord Jesus, <laughs> you know, we I have to constantly tell myself that all the time, you know, when we're going through this spiritual journey and times do get hard, uh, you know, patience is tried, faith is tried, everything that you are experiencing can be very annoying, agitating, but it's supposed to teach you, you know, certain situations that source or universe or God, um, that has placed us in it's not sometimes it's not for you to change your situation for a but allow the situation to change you change how you perceive things change how you respond to things being able to see your worth in things that you weren't able to see your worth in being able to see your strength and things you weren't able to see before being able to get the bigger picture of why you were placed in this situation in the first place and it can be you know it can be overwhelming at times you know, um, cause it's like I tell y'all, not every day is perfect. It's not, um, you know, I, I just choose not to, you know, come on my videos and be ripping and running and complaining and this and this and that, you know, we have enough negative vibes that are already in our head, you know, with doubt and frustration, irritability, annoying, you know, why would I want to pour that out on you? So it's just like, you know, there's days that, you know, like universe, like I tell y'all universe has me, um, being vulnerable in front of you because they have you have to be comfortable with knowing even though I make motivational videos you have to be able to see a certain like different sides of me for you to say you know what I get her you know I understand you know I'm there I can resonate with this because there are so many days I you know don't want to get out of the bed in the morning just wondering when is the situation going to be over with you know I'm doing the things that I have to do you know source universe give me a sign on what i need to do to put myself in a better you know a better vibe because it can get frustrating at times you know you could be in a, a toxic karmic cycle um dealing with you know stress of just the everyday thing job children significant other family you know all these things can be different especially if you have dreams and wants to better your life in so many different levels so many different directions and you're working hard for that you know you put it up to universe let them know hey this is what i want to do with my life you know i'm working hard for it but it just seems like nothing is never good enough but we always have to pay attention to the signs around us start looking at synchronicities start seeing you know the things that we want is it echoing back towards us because that le that's the uni universe sending you signals that those things are coming towards you you know you'll start seeing things that you resonate with you know if there's cars that you want to get you'll probably start seeing that car in different colors in different places one will drop them right in front of you and you're like hey and then you see the things that you want so it's just like you have to i have to tell myself all the time your 
blessings are a lot bigger than your problems. Yeah, we complain about things and all this stuff, but we have to usually go through all these t trials and tribulations, boot camp hell for impasse, you know, just for you to be able to say, you know, after all this is said and done, it was worth it. I know you're like, well, Rosa, I'm trying to wait for me to actually be able to perch my mouth up and say that. Yeah, you know, it might take a while, but it, that's why, you know, you have to tell yourself every day. When you didn't get it that day, that gave you another day to improve yourself. That gives you another day to work on the things that you need to work on. You know, that we all have Achilles heel on certain situations. We all have insecurities about certain things. We still are going through traumatizing situations that we're trying so hard to let go of. Because once we enter that new chapter of whatever we're aiming for, we can't have that old existing baggage taken over there with us because it might mess you up in the long run so they're just trying to make sure all these th your slates clean your spirits clean you're not holding any animosity you're not holding any anger you're not doing none of these things because you see that everything you want is a lot bigger than the stuff that you complain about and i have to keep telling myself that every day you know, there's so many things you want to do. There's so many wants and this and this and that. But you have to be able to see things in the big, bigger picture. Look at it all different aspects. Seeing, the, you know, different perspectives. You know, and, you know, perceive, you know, are you, you, are you paying attention to the smoke screens? Because everything is not exactly how it seems to be. You know, if you're stressed out, all you're going to see is the negative things you're going through. But if you're being optimistic, even though you're in a negative situation, you can see what kind of positivity is coming out. Like if you're going through a messed up situation and you're parting ways with uh, a significant other and it could be very toxic. Yes, those things could be toxic. And it seems like, you know, you probably try to put a restraining order on them. You call the police. The police didn't do nothing. Um, try to get them, you know, all these different things. And it seems like nobody's listening to you. And that's why I tell people because, you know, I was in a situation like that. And it's just like there's something that you're missing. There's something that you are not paying attention to you know you can't allow people's negativity to affect you in certain ways not being able to carry on that emotion that we we clearly need to de detach ourselves from and i have to learn that every day you know it's just like you know i always tell people never wish that you never met these people you know anytime it's like a good or a bad experience somebody's came into your life they always have taught you something you know especially if you're in a uh, toxic relationship it shows you everything you don't want in the next relationship it learns you know when you're heading towards true love or whatever it shows you yes you have to communicate yes there has to be trust yes you have to give affection and attention you know talk about issues you know be that support system be that therapist be that cheerleader you have to have all these things that you want in a relationship because everything that you failed out in that, that last relationship you were in has taught you everything that was messed up that you, you know, you tried to go for. And plus, when you deal with a toxic situation like that, next time somebody comes at you, you'll see all the red flags in case those situations are coming back, reoccur you. Because sometimes universe brings people back in your life because they're sending vibrations towards you, but they don't see it as negative or positive. They're just sending vibrations out to you. And it's all how you look at it. It's all how you respond to it. It's all how you, you perceive it. So you have to pay attention to all those things. You know, we go through things for a reason. We go through painful situations, not for them to break us, but to teach us something. You know, get your strength from it. Get your reassurance. Have your faith. Because I told you, you know, you pray to God about, you know, your faith. They will put you in every situation where you have to see the universe touch that for you. The universe touch that for you. You know, your patience. They will put you in certain situations or make you want to just... You know, and you have no choice but to wait because they will cut off every kind of resource you can to leave. Trust me, I know. Because <laughs> I would have hauled ass a long time ago. But this situation has taught me so many different things. You know, what I don't want a relationship. What am I going to tolerate? What am I not going to be so open to? You know, um, never sacrifice my happiness to make somebody else happy. You know, all these different things, it has taught me in so many different directions and strengthened me at, 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 at all different levels. And yes, even though I'm tired of being in this situation or whatever, it has taught me a lot of things. So it's just like you have to have patience. You know, you never know what uh, things that is going to transpire for you. Because it's like you can't even fathom. You, If you're pushing out love and positivity, you're going out out of your way doing everything that they sent you to do they sent you this way you went this way you, you ran into a brick, brick wall they told you to go this way 
you went this way and you ran into a big brick wall. You know, if you want something in life, they got to see how many times, even though how many times you're going to run into that brick wall, are you going to give up? You know, like, I'm tired of going through this, this and this and that, or whatever. Are you going to keep moving and just keep on going until you finally open that door that, you know, that is supposed to be opening for you as an opportunity? So you have to keep going. They always try to tell you, we got to see how bad you want this. If you are so easily to get up, give up on it, this is not something that you wanted in the first place. Because if it's something you can give up on that easily, obviously it wasn't worth that much for you. So they want to make you... Go through all hell and high water and say, you know what, there, whatever I'm going through is worth me going through because I had to go through this. It's healed me. It's gave me faith in the universe that they got my back. Even though there's things I don't understand, I'm not seeing a bigger picture. You never know what's down the road for you. And it's just like you can see different posts. And like I seen this one and it was so true that you seen one guy and he was like digging with a pitchfork or whatever them things are to pit, you know when you're in the mines and you see another one and this man was right there by the diamonds the other one just turned right around and didn't realize you know well no the other guy was picking and getting close to his blessing but the guy was right there and then turned around because it got too hard and didn't he did not realize if he would have picked one more time all his blessings were right there but he chose to walk off so you got to be determined to do what you want to do you have to be sure this is what i want in life because anything you want in life is is if it, it's not going to be easy for you to get you won't have to go through a lot of things you're going to have to go through uh letdowns you're going to have to go through setbacks failures mistakes because you learn each and every time from those things you know maybe you were counting your eggs quicker than you was putting all your ducks in a row and counting all these things before you were supposed to or you talked too much and then it messed you up you're all learning all these things so when you get where you need to be you learn to keep things to yourself you know you don't sit up here and sass nobody don't wish nothing on nobody don't get frustrated when you see other people getting theirs because like i said before when you see other people getting blessings it's like you you know that lets you know even though you haven't got yours yet and you can get frustrated because it's like dag i'm doing all these different things and i see this person getting this that person getting that and i'm just still sitting here when's mine coming it's on its way it's on its way right when you least expect it but you have to keep moving you got to keep pushing and believing in universe and god and whoever holy creator whoever you worship to whoever you pray to that they got your back because they're doing everything they got to do to work high water for you to get these things that you want but it's just like you know you never know what is going to happen you never know around what corner because it's just like you'll hear every time be patient just wait a little bit longer have faith your, your blessings right around the corner you'll know if it's right around the corner on the next street or right around the corner on the next city or even on the other side right around the corner on the other side of the earth you never know because it's right around that corner you don't know how long that corner is going to be but you have to keep patiently waiting keep doing what you need to do don't lose focus on the things that you're trying to aim for let go of whatever is not supposed to be in your life anymore cut whatever toxic cords that needs to be severed out of your life because more and more things you let go of and stop trying to do everything your own and just surrender what you need to surrender and you allow them because a lot of times we mess ourselves up because we're trying to figure everything out we're trying to do everything on our own and a lot of times we mess ourselves up because universe is trying to help us but we try to do everything else and we just need to have them guide us and listen to what they got to say because you never know you know you never know what's transpiring for you so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line. I would love to hear from you. And give a post notification out to, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, Elizabeth Ann Oswald, um, Sam I Am Holmes, and uh, Lauren Harrison. Much love to you. Many blessings. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there is always someone out there praying for your better days. And I hope you all have a blessed, safe day, and I will see you in my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.